What's up everyone on YouTube? It's N Driver KG. And I actually, I got some exciting news for you today. Let's talk about it. So if you're new here, we do a launcher and content and we'll have some other vehicles coming to the channel too. too. But also we talk about how and what it takes to get this car to 500 wheel horsepower on the stock block, stock heads. So nothing opening up the motor except for the head gaskets and head studs. But we actually got some good news. So as I saw per yesterday morning, I got an email from Six. And also my buddy Dave reached out to Six that same day and was like, hey, one of my friends want to buy the high pressure fuel pump upgrade. So what is this high pressure fuel pump upgrade? It's something that's important. So again, on these cars, if you have any 2022 to 2025, and I'm pretty sure the 2026 is gonna be the exact same car, you're gonna need water meth injection if you think you're gonna even go past 370 horsepower. Now, you can do it with just injectors and race fuel, but can you run E on these new injectors? They've tested up to E50 and even have someone on E85 from what they said. So this is going to be really, really big news for this because like I said before, we kind of need the fueling. So what do I do? Because I don't have the high pressure fuel pump on this car. I'm actually running a stock high pressure fuel pump on here. So what do you need if you're going to pass that 400 wheel horsepower number, which we dynoed on the old map from the stock turbo that's 25 to 26 pounds of boost and about 29 to 30 degrees of timing we got 423 horsepower out of this one with the upgraded turbo stock that car was capable of 382 horsepower so we see the same tune went up 40 horsepower but from there we got that with the water meth injection so the water meth injection is going to give you the fueling that you need it's going to up your octane and it's going to up your your cooling so we have an intercooler in there now so we are running a hundred percent meth in this car we have the tank set up in the back that's for another video actually i did a video on water meth injection but if you have stock high pressure how high pressure fuel pump and you have a stock uh, injector then your car is going to see about 330 to 340 horsepower now if you do the upgrades with the injectors in the sonata high pressure fuel pump then you're going to see about 350 to 360 if you do water meth injection you can see over well, i'd say over 390 maybe 400 but i i really haven't seen 400 on a stock turbo but you can see 390 on a stock turbo I guarantee that uh, but like I said you need the water meth injection the water meth injection for some people can be a pain but you're gonna have the tank there in the back then you're gonna run a line all the way up have your solenoid that you're on and off basically safety switch go right into your cold pipe or your manifold whatever you want to do or into the throttle body and that's gonna smish miss the steam right into your cold pipe into your air and it's gonna miss it it's gonna bond with it and it's going to increase your octane and it's going to cool your car down every time you step on that gas you're going to notice but not everybody wants to go into water meth injection that's okay because you have to keep that tank filled up back there now i have the snow performance kit and that lets you know when you're running out so that's a good thing when you when you get to one third of that tank it starts flashing at you little by little and as you get lower it starts going crazy and as you're really really low it stays solid yellow so i went over that in another video but like i said with this six now has a high pressure fuel pump and this thing looks awesome and it's 550 dollars now before it was 500 bucks but i understand that they went up and like they said, you now getting 31% more flow over the stock one. And this pump is based off of the 2GTAO, which is the Sonata pump that everyone's been using for now since, you know? So now that we got this, we can possibly see over 400 wheel horsepower with ease. Like honestly, it's to the point where if you wanted to pick up an Elantra N, whether it's a 22 to 25, you can just do the, I think, injectors and the high pressure fuel pump and a downpipe. And with those three things, 
I think you can see over 400. This is huge. Are you guys excited? Are you not entertained? We can see this much power out of Elantra. And finally, like, honestly, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for a while for this. And I've been telling people, hey, wait till that high pressure fuel pump upgrade comes out. And usually for most cars, high pressure fuel pumps can cost over a thousand dollars. If you see for a Type R, you're looking at 1300. Now, some of those kits come with injectors, but our injectors that are the Sonata, the GTA 1, and the GTA O's are about 300 bucks. And the Sonata fuel pump, the original one, was about 300 to 330 bucks. And this one, this upgrade is 550 bucks. So it still costs pretty damn good considering other cars cost over a thousand dollars. So the fact that it matter that I'm saying is you guys need to go out there and check out this high pressure fuel pump. Now, people have ordered this back in June and they had a batch come out and unfortunately there was an issue with that batch and I applaud Six for actually trying to do something before they got these high pressure fuel pumps out to people because this is something that you don't want to play with. The engine fire can happen if you leak gas anywhere in that area. Um, that's why it has that foam cover over it. But at the end of the day, I am glad to see that Six is trying to do something different and take care of their customers before they even get the, pro the product out. And, you know, a lot of the time we're like, damn, man, why is it taking so long? Why is it taking so long? Because most people are trying to perfect something. You don't want to just get out there and give something out and it doesn't work. It just doesn't look good, which unfortunately it has happened in the past. But you know what? they're doing something different and i can see the difference in what they're trying to do here so like i said this is a big deal and at 550 dollars man i think it's a good buy so hopefully um for you guys that don't want to buy through six uh n75 will possibly carry them um i'm pretty sure the other companies like whoosh and lap three i'm pretty sure they're going to have those soon so once six gets going with that, hopefully this is just the beginning of what we can see. And we could possibly see an actual real uh, fuel injector upgrade. Now, if I can get 50 people to sign, one of these companies that I'm talking to will have a injector upgrade. But at the end of the day, I don't know what it's going to cost yet. So I'm trying to go over that and see what it costs, uh, if it's a good price. I will let you guys know. I will update you. That would be awesome. You know, if we could keep it under, say, 700 bucks, that would be awesome. So then that way we can run full E85. But like I said, there are some people running full E85 without any of that. Uh, he said someone is running E85 with just the Sonata or the Supra pump. And you can run the Supra to be 58 pump with this car if you have the adapter for the... Um, I believe where it sits down in or maybe the connector i'm not 100 sure i seen it done and i just didn't want to mess with it like that but again for you guys that's out there that do not want to have meth this is a breakthrough for the whole community man it doesn't matter if you have veloster a kona elantra we are going to make the power i am so excited i'm so like I'm glad that this came out because I've been saying for months, like, damn, where the hell are they with these high pressure fuel pumps? Like, what's going on? So now that we have it, we can match other companies and run E85. And who knows? Maybe we can see over 400 horsepower with that. And you know what? Like I said before, you guys already know, I think the safety for this car is about 25 PSI. Once you get to 26, 27, you run a risk of possibly lifting the head a long period of time of that type of boost. How do I know? Two cars. Two cars. Okay. Multiple people that I've heard that had this issue. Now, with the stock turbo, it takes a little longer. If you got an upgraded turbo and you run 26, 27, it will happen within months. I'm telling you, you need to understand all that stuff. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. And yes, I do have a updated tune from Daniel. We are at 28.2, I think I saw uh, yesterday. So I didn't run any 60 to 30, 130s yet. 
we keep getting snow and then the salt is on the ground and then like one day it's super damp and kind of warm and everybody's spinning i'll get some 60 to 130s as soon as we get a decent day out there i promise you guys we're going to dip into the mid sevens i am going to reach mid sevens i'm not going to stop until i reach it um so you guys could be happy and see that all right we'll have two cars and hopefully other people will be able to get into the seven shortly um along with christian shout out to him uh but he is the only person to be in the sevens uh we did do an eight five and that was with slight spinning but we got an eight five on the old tune which i'm not mad at that at 420 because when you think about it i think christian was making 400 and 60 470 wheel horsepower and he did the 79 and we were making 420 and we did the a5 so we're right there i mean i'm pretty sure i could do it with 450 which i think this tune right now is capable of uh i noticed with the 60 to 100 you have to be under three so if i can get this down to like a 36 37 60 to 100 then i know the seven is in the bag so if I could get that then i could show that this car this engine can really hit with the big boy with the ea 88 888 okay because i've seen now at this point i've seen two uh tts's not the ttrs the five cylinder i'm talking about the ea triple eight that reached a 7.6 60 to 130 and that's a four cylinder and okay he did it with nitrous the car is completely gutted but it was impressive. So I think now that we got this high pressure fuel pump, other cars are going to start dipping into the nines because we now we have what, two or three people in the nines. So we're going to see more cars dipping into the nines with stock turbo. We're going to see more low eights high, uh, or, or sevens with turbo upgrades. We're going to see the stuff. And I'm, I'm just glad, I'm happy that we're making progress in this community so i'm going to be making updates i did order mines it should be coming at the end of march i don't know we'll see i'll keep you guys posted on that and again thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you next time please subscribe if you're not if you like the channel i will probably do a night bov on this car because i haven't done one in a long time and then i'll put the the uh, camera on the back and we will have some more Mexico runs. I promise you guys, it's just, like I said, it's been rough out here lately because we've been getting snow, then warm, then cold, and it's a lot. A lot of people are not coming out, but I do have some good runs planned for you guys if people don't back out. So we'll see. But thank you guys for watching.